what's up gemini gate happy saturday guys let's see what's going on with the scene gals and the scene guys of course um all gemini placements take what resonates leave the rest take it how it resonates with you and your situation personal readings are in the description box you guys hit those likes hit those likes hit those likes hit that subscribe thank you for being here you guys all right gemini singles we'll do a quick singles reading since i didn't do one yesterday um and then yeah so let's see what's going on with your singles gemini singles and again, if you're not completely single, there may still be some stuff going on here, especially if you got a side chick, <laughs> side dude, and all that. All right, let's see what's going on. Somebody wants to talk, uh, Gemini's. So we have mask. Mm hmm. Of course, somebody's hiding their feelings. Hiding true feelings, pretending in the loop, gaslight, and personify. All right, so we have clock. Mm hmm. This is needing time, cycles uh, and time, uh, wait, needing time, cycles and takes time, time to heal and progressing. So this makes sense too because I have been seeing a lot about you guys completing a cycle. And also the world is showing up again as I shuffle this deck. So we have coffee cup here and it's meeting and talking, savoring the moment, feeling elevated and building friendship. Okay. So let's see what is going on. My seeing gals, this is a poker face here on the bottom. So some of you guys not showing your hand and I kind of got that in yesterday's read and there's that world flipping over again. Okay, so what is going on here? <laughs> the world, yes. The six of wands, mm-hmm. And the death card, oh, okay. Well, <laughs> Now, the death card could be something changing, growing, transforming. I feel like just there may be a conversation coming towards you, uh, Gemini, that changes the dynamic of your situation, of your um, connection or whatnot. Some of you may be meeting someone at a coffee shop and it's going to like completely change you. The sun card could be a Leo. Something about your life is changing, Gemini's. It's like you are becoming a lot more happy. You're becoming a lot more um, satisfied, if, if that makes sense. You're, you're becoming a lot more um, appreciative of, of life and the people in it, uh, Gemini. So, yeah, especially if you single, single, Gemini's, or there's nobody on your mind, I feel like some of you will be meeting someone quickly, like soon. Um, and it's going to like change you in a, in a positive way. Um, you know, you, I feel like you want to be open up to, wow, you guys, the Ace of Pentacles, the lovers, wait a minute, now, for some of you, you are learning to become more open, you, you're learning to become more vulnerable, uh, you're showing your softer side, or this connection is going to, this connection is going to, uh, encourage that, it's going to encourage you to show your softer side, it's going to encourage you to um, be more open. It's going to encourage you to be more vulnerable than what you may be used to. Gemini's, but like I said in the last reading, it's just something about this. It's going to feel right to you. So always make sure that you have your um, you have enough self awareness to know what is your intuition and what is a, a trauma response. Okay, um, but yeah, it could be a Gemini you end up meeting. Aquarius, uh, the Two of Cups, wow, y'all, <laughs> the Page of Pentacles, yes, I feel like after some time, after some time of you guys healing, um, you're, it's like a lot of you guys are going to start seeing some progress in your love life, in a nutshell, and I mean, it's going to be major, major, major progress, um, in your love lives. Gemini's and it's because of the work that you've done on yourself and it what makes sense too um while we see this this uh clock here because I feel like something could be within divine timing for a lot of you as well like something coming in when you least expect it to 
uh, Gemini's, the high priestess. Oh, baby, baby. So I'm seeing, see, I don't want no past energy. The temperance card, sad energy. Someone could be revealing their feelings. Like, I feel like it's, it's the end of the secrets. It's the end of, um, you not knowing where you stand with a person, uh, because whatever this other connection is, Gemini's, is going to be, it's going to be life changing, whatever this is that I'm seeing here. It's going to be something that you've always wanted. And that's the same energy that I got in the last reading for a lot of you. Um, but it does require you doing work on yourself. So you have to ask yourself the type of partner that you want are, do you fit those, the, the criteria for that type of person for you to attract that type of person? So if you want someone that's honest, you need to make sure that you are also honest. If you want someone to be open and share their feelings, you need to make sure that you are also doing that. Okay. So you need to become the, the partner that you are seeking. So if you haven't found what you want yet, you need to become that person so you can attract it to you. Some of you haven't attracted your ideal partner yet because you're not in alignment. And I say this to you guys all the time. You're not ready and you're not in alignment with it. Especially if you're still attached to someone that isn't, uh, that doesn't want what you want. Um, or not able to give you what you want because of some other, you know, nonsense going on. So you need to become in alignment with what you want so you can attract what you want, uh, Gemini's. Okay. And it, of course, you know, y'all know I always, uh, they're not that Knight of Wands again. I always preach like, you know, about self-love and self-mastery and all of that. But, you know, you, you can have love and still need to work on yourself. Like you, you can have love and still have traumas. Like that's, that is possible, but you still need to be actively doing the work. Okay. You don't need to be fully healed to be in a connection, you know, like most people say. You just need to be healed to an extent, okay? To be able to attract someone to you that is willing to all is also willing to do the work. Four of Swords here, I love it, love it, love it. Yep, yeah, Eight of Cups. Some of you are leaving something behind. You're trying to move forward. The Eight of Cups is on the pursuit of happiness. So I feel like that's that's what you're on. Even if you have to leave something behind because you're on the pursuit of happiness. And there's nothing wrong with that. And, and that's kind of what I kind of touched on in the, in the last read. Because I feel like some of you guys may be feeling away. Because you're having to walk away from something. It could be something that you have invested a lot of time in. Um, and I feel like by this time, it's like you're in this place where like, you know, time is passing by. And let me tell you all this, Okay. Time is the one resource that you can't get back. You cannot get time back, you guys, ever. Like, as I'm doing this reading right now, I can't get this back. As you guys watch this reading, you can't get the, you know, 15 minutes that you take watching the reading. You can't get that back. You know what I'm saying? So someone giving you their time, like, you know, people that do content. But even outside of people doing content, you know, your doctor or your attorney or uh, whatever the case may be, that exchange their time um, for money. Time isn't money because there's no amount of money that can um, that can pay back time, period. No amount of money can, okay? So I feel like, um, Gemini's, I feel like a lot of you guys are getting to this space. Like, you're like, okay, I've spent a lot of time being unhappy, now it's time for me to be happy. So, and if you're not in this space, it's just some advice, Gemini's, that you being in agony and waiting on somebody to do, give you more or whatever the case may be, is, 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 needs to be ended, Gemini's. It's, it needs to be dead at, at this point because you're wasting a lot of time on things and people that aren't serving you in the, at, at the end of the day. Because every minute, every second that goes by, it cannot be replaced, okay? That money can be replaced, that person can be replaced, but your time can never be replaced. Like, once it's gone, it is gone, you guys. So, please consider that um, when, you're, when you're staying in situations that you... Um, you know are are over when you're staying in mindsets that you know isn't serving you think about the time that you are wasting all right 
the time that you could be used using to heal and to progress king of wands here more more leo energy you building your confidence you doing you not the death card again you guys <sighs> some of you may be having a conversation with somebody um about ending something child now i'm gonna say this too eight of uh, the eight of wands the hangman and the king of wands i kept seeing the uh eight of wands too when they were shuffling the temperance as well so this could be seen in one of the two ways the first way is you are literally going to meet someone and it is going to progress very quickly like whoever this is is going to be um it's it's going to be life-changing this connection is going to transform you for the better uh gemini's and i feel like for a lot of you this is something that you attracted to you by by you healing and you doing the work and you having the courage to leave some shit behind because that takes a lot to be able to leave something behind that's not serving you anymore uh gemini's another thing is this is you having a conversation with someone like could be from the past or whatever and you want to end that and move forward but I also feel like this could be someone that is um that's going to say hey um i'm willing to change i'm willing to do the work hold on guys because something's going on i can hear it Okay, y'all, my bad. <sighs> okay, so, yeah, I feel like, like I was saying, some of you guys are going to be having a conversation with someone, and you're going to be like, you know, it's, it either needs to change or it needs to end. Like, you're not, it, it's, that's all it is, that's all it is to it, but, you know, or spirit's going to come in and, and end it for you, okay? Let me get one more, because... I have to get another card simply because I feel like heavily this is the end of some type of confusion because we're seeing the seven of cups here. So like it's the end of like um, secrets and the unknown. It's like shit starts coming to light, uh, Gemini's. Things start to become very clear. Uh, you're going to attract someone to you that is going to be very, very, very clear about their intentions from the jump. It's not going to be none of this elusive bullshit that, you know, you're used to. But it does involve you having to walk away from something or someone, uh, Gemini's. The moon. Damn it, I'm good. Man. <laughs> yeah. Where are my hands at? Yeah. So first of all, Gemini's, the moon and the high priestess have a very similar energy here. So like I said... I feel like it's it's something finally coming to light. It's like the, a transformation of whatever whatever comes to dark comes to light. Whatever is, is in the dark comes to light. Thank you, Spirit, because I was trying to think of that stay, that saying because this is like perfect for this, um, Gemini's. But this, the moon and the sun is also divine counterparts, the divine masculine, divine feminine. So like I said, you coming in alignment with someone that is literally perfect for you. Four of Wands here, um, the eleven eleven card. Okay. All right, so let's do a couple of these and then I'm gonna wrap this up. So singles, I'm loving this. I'm loving it. Lots of, lots of, see, now I, I was gonna say lots of change and I'm seeing changing flips over literally at the same time. It's insane. It's absolutely insane. Two Sag cards here. We have the white rabbit. Spark of curiosity, gnosis, spiritual awakening. See, this is what I get with this, um, Gemini's. It's time, heeding the call, research it, inner knowing, dark to light. I literally just said that. Holy shit. Going down the rabbit hole, working from, I told you some darkness comes to light. I'm telling you. Bonfire, which is enthusiasm, energy, heated, intense, joy, ignite, passion, ecstasy, acceleration, spark, community, sharing ideas, get things done, orgasm, fantasism, fever, and fierce 
Love it, love it, love it, Gemini. Y'all cards are just flipping over. I love it. So we have Symphony here. Mm-hmm. And this one is Harmony, Synergy, Co-Create, Assembly, Organize, Structure, Collaborate, Team. Uh, precise arrangement, order, lead, follow, organization, perform, display, and cohesion. And then we have 50-50 here on the bottom. So this kind of goes in line with what I said uh, in other reads. So some of you guys may have uh, another choice. Okay? Hit those likes, Geminis. Hit that subscribe. Thank you for watching. Peace out.